Hey yo, it's Doomsday Guy, and today I'm going to be talking about thumb placement on your controller. I'm going to show you an example with an Xbox controller and a PlayStation controller. I have been driving myself to the brink of insanity trying to figure out what is the best thumb placement. I've been playing controller for over 10 years. I have an Elite Series 2 here in my uh, lap, and also I'm going to be showing you guys just a regular PlayStation 4 controller. So, I am basing this video off of players who play claw i do not personally play claw i have back paddles as you can see you don't need to play claw with this method but i have noticed that a common theme between all claw players have incredible fine aim control and i thought originally it was due to them using dynamic aim response curve but i have found out that that is not the case um what it is is their thumb positioning and i've been watching specifically mutex i'm going to be using as an example if you don't know who mutex is I highly suggest checking him out on twitch or youtube kid is absolutely insane i i've never seen anybody have more control and precision with a thumbstick than this guy i mean he can play on any sensitivity he can jump from 7 7 sensitivity to, to max at 2020 and play no different i mean it's just incredible so shout out to him he, I kind of wish he never, I never saw his hand cam because it's kind of driven me crazy. But if you don't know, he holds his controller. He obviously plays claw, he, but he holds his controller where his thumb is always straight. And I have been killing myself basically trying to figure out how he does that. Because most people, if you're anything like me, bend your thumb like this, to put on the joystick and you play with the tip of your thumb maybe. Where you play with uh, this right, right before this first joint, basically the palm of your thumb. But if you're moving left to right, let's say, like, how are you not supposed to basically bend your thumb, right? See how it bends? Or if you're playing with the tip of your thumb, it bends. But he always keeps his thumb straight. If you notice when he's playing, and I always thought. For, that it was because he was playing with his thumb on top of his uh, joystick. But that's just so hard to be precise with, especially on a higher sensitivity. I mean, any sensitivity. I've, I Believe me, I've tested them all. What I realized that they're doing, though, is they're using the palm of their thumb, right? And they're using it... I'm trying to get in frame. Where is it? They're using it right before... See, this is your joint. They're using it right before the joint, right here. And what they're doing is they're pushing down into the thumbstick with this. The edge of your thumbstick is pushing against this, so it's at an angle, right? So I'm going to show you an example here, basically like this, where they're pushing into it, and then you just rest your thumb on it. And the key here is since most since they play claw, their thumb is able to move freely like this. See, I'm not bending my thumb when I move, left to right, up down. But you don't have to play claw for this. So what I've been doing is because I usually hold my controller like this, where this part of my thumb is like gripping the controller pretty tightly. And that's what you need to not do. So all you need to do is just leave this gap, this little gap of try and get free. This little gap. Just make sure this isn't touching the controller, at least tightly. Like you can I wouldn't oh don't overthink it. Just basically let it hang uh, slightly over it, and you should be good. Instead of gripping it super tight, you know, you don't want a tight grip. But remember, just push down on the, the right side of your thumbstick. Pretty, uh, not super hard, but, you know, get a grip, and then just rest your thumb, and boom. I mean, I'm going to show you in-game here. Hold on one sec. Look at how precise. I'm, I'm, uh, there's a. I have a lantern covering my screen right now, so I'm trying to look over that. But I mean, just look at the movements I'm making with this. Everything is just super precise, and it's. And my thumb is staying still. So my thumb previously with the grips I was having would always slide off. And it was so frustrating because no matter how much I shot bots or how much I worked on my aim, I could never get it perfect. And this, I can tell, 
after doing some practice now mind you like i just figured this out like five minutes ago almost broke down crying because i'm so freaking happy but um so i got some work to do obviously you're not going to be perfect right away but like you will instantly notice the difference that this grip is going to give you like you have so much control over your aim currently i'm playing on seven seven uh seven seven one with dynamic and i recommend you play dynamic I'll make a video on this later if you guys want, let me know. But uh, I've played uh, linear dy and dynamic very thoroughly. And linear is not the wave. Uh, telling you, it's not. And believe me, that's coming from... I have hit some insane shots on linear. And I've been very good at linear. I've always been a 3KD player, especially on linear. But my shot against really good players, like say a Mutex player, I would never win a gunfight against them. And you probably won't either because dynamic just gives you that edge especially with this uh with this thumb placement but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video now i'm also going to show you the playstation controller obviously same idea press your thumb in rest it and it'll be the same thing you know get rid of that grip see that grip you don't want that just loosen it up a little bit. And it's the same idea here. Boom. So yeah. Try this out, man. Get used to it. I'm telling you, this is the wave. This is how you get the edge on your players. Unfortunately, nobody else is talking about this. Nobody makes videos on thumb placement for some reason. So if anyone else is out there who has been struggling like me, believe me, I, I, I feel your pain. I 100% I understand and I hope this video brings some peace of mind and you become the cracked player that you've always wanted to be. But yeah, subscribe for more videos like this. I do videos on things that nobody's talking about. I'm kind of just like the underdog of the industry trying to figure out and un unwrap these secrets because there's so many secrets to Call of Duty, especially on controller, that nobody talks about. And that's a reason why so many players are so far ahead of other players. Because you can put all the time in that you want, it's but it, you only get so far. It's it's more than time in. It's there's there's little secrets that these people are doing that you don't you just overlook and you don't notice why it makes them better, or why it, why they're winning those gunfights. So yeah, subscribe for more. I'll catch you guys later. Deuces.